Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is kind of ironic. Uh, later in the week, I was going to look for a tiger's head to do with a new product on glass and tile, and I was thinking about doing a lion or tiger's head. This person wants this with a contour so they could cut it out. So you could see that every piece is broken apart. So if you select all the pieces, your boundary tool comes up and create a boundary. I'm going to nudge it out of the way. I'm going to go up to effects and contour. And now the contour tool, let's go 0.25 to the outside. And I'm going to have my corners on a rounded corner. So it'll contour corners round and not point. I'm going to hit apply. Now I did some contouring on the inside, but that's not a problem. We're going to go to object and break contour apart. Let's bring it down and over. Now you've got some inside contouring, but that's easily gotten rid of. Just select your item, go to object, break, curve apart. Now I can take my contour and move it up to my tiger's head and I can delete all this. Matter of fact, I can delete all this. Don't need any more. And there's a contour around the lion's head or tiger's head. Now, if that's a little bit big, you could always take your contour all the way. Now contour to the inside, let's say like 0.1, and it'll be quite a bit smaller. Now go to object and break contour apart. And with if you have all objects uh, selected or like they act like a fill, you can just hit the inside, and it'll take the smaller contour and get rid of that contour. Now my contour, you always, I've used it somebody else's page that sent me a file. Um, so I never know what's going on, but you want to make sure if you're going to cut that out, I'd go hairline and red, just so you know it's cut out. And that would engrave and cut out. And it looked pretty cool. I mean, it really did a good job of contouring. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.